Coach Hendon's right at the top of the league in completion percentage and yards per attempt. Just how odd of a combination is that to see, and what does that say about the level he's playing at? Yeah, Hendon's playing at an extremely high level right now. Um, he's earned everything he's getting. That guy puts more time in preparation than anyone I've ever been around. Um, and you're seeing all that pay off. And it didn't start in season. It started in January when he decided to come back. He was making an effort to be one of the top quarterbacks in the country. And, and right now, that's what you're seeing is the fruit of that labor because he is, he is playing at an extremely high level right now. Yeah, that's what makes him special. There's there's a lot of a lot of guys that can throw it efficiently, which which he can. But what he's what makes him scary, I should say, to I think opposing defenses is that at any point he can get out and go, and he's one of the best ball carriers on the field anytime he has the ball too. So you got that combination together. That's why he's he's one of the elite players in the country right now. Yeah, um, well, one, it's going to be a loud environment, like you just said. It, it's, there's going to be at some points where it's difficult to communicate, so that's why you work it all week. Um, but there is the – you don't have the ebb and the flow, like where the crowd know, knows, like when the huddle's breaking and they can start building up and all that. If you're pushing your tempo and you're playing ahead of the chains, uh, it does help with that. But there's still – you can't take any lacks in preparation for it because it's going to be a loud, crazy environment. We've got to prepare for it the right way. It's, it's similar to the to the first answer. It's, it's his preparation leading up to it. So for all the craziness about the environment, whether it's home or away, once you step between the white lines, it's 11 on 11, you go play ball. So whether you're prepared or not, that's where it shows up. Some people do get um, big eyed and the moment gets a little too big when you get in a crazy environment. That is not how he is wired at all. That's why you're seeing the same guy at home, crazy environment on the home, not as much on the road. It doesn't matter. He's, he's the same dude day in, day out. Yeah, he's um, the way he's playing right now. It gives you confidence, I think, as a staff that you can put the ball in his hand and you can feel good about what's going to happen with it, whether that's situationally or normal down situations. Um, as far as how the effect on the team, he doesn't have to be a guy that's overly vocal. He's growing in that. But now everyone's seeing the way he prepares and then they see the way that he plays on Saturday. And that's, you know, permeating the entire locker room right now where you see that is the way to handle your business and you will get the results. It's not just coach speak, it's actual facts. When you put in the work, you get the results. He took some big hits against Florida and come out of that thing kind of beat up a little bit. Do you all stress sliding? I mean, I know you, you, that's something that, that you coach him to do, but how, how, does, how does he kind of competitor versus be smart, kind of balance that, you know, depending on down and distance and where you're at in the game and all that? Yeah, we've always discussed the uh, you know, being intelligent situationally as far as taking care of yourself. Um, talk to it a bunch about him. We talked to it in pregame, talked to it leading up to it, talked to him on the sidelines. But at the end of the day, one of the best things about Hendon is he's the fiercest competitor I've be ever been around. And you can't take that away from a guy either. So he is intelligent about the way he carries himself. You know, maybe there's some times where he could have, you know, protected himself, but there's also plays that he makes where if he's trying to just worry about protecting himself, you know, he doesn't make those plays. So you can never take that away from a guy either, who they are as a person, and he'll keep growing on the other end of it. I realize part of this will go back to the preparation that you said that mm -hmm. Hendon Hooker does to be able to execute during games. But not only is Hendon Hooker not putting the ball in harm's way, he's protecting the ball, but it doesn't seem like he even comes close to putting it in danger. Why is it that he doesn't seemingly take as many risks or put the ball in harm's way as much as other quarterbacks? Yeah, he, um, not to keep repeating, but like what you said, one, it's the front end preparation where he knows what he's going to get. And then when you get your unscouted looks, he's able to process so quickly, which is key to playing quarterback, especially in this system. He processes, he can eliminate right now, and he can get to a second, third, fourth read. That's what he's doing at an extremely high level. As his reps grew last year, that's what you saw him doing as he was moving throughout the season. And that's what he started off doing this year because, like we said, the preparation and his ability to process and eliminate quickly, he gets himself out of bad plays first and foremost. And then he's now making the big plays on top of getting himself out of the bad plays first. Coach, you said in the preseason that you know you, you bragged on how well Hendon had 
how much he improved in the offseason using his eyes and all of those things. Through four games, has he surprised you? Has he played better than you anticipated? Is there anything that he's done that's kind of wowed you that maybe you didn't think was coming in the preseason? Yeah, he he makes a couple plays a, a game where you just kind of go, wow. Like there's one where a guy comes free the third down on the two-minute drive against Florida last week where he sets him, rolls out to his left, makes a throw back inside on third and nine and keeps the drive going. That ends up being probably the biggest drive of the game. Like that, we talk about preparation, you talk about his practice habits, you talk about that sometimes, now that's just him taking over as a player, the stuff that you don't coach, that makes guys special and it separates good from special and he's making those special plays right now. Joe, a couple of things, his decision making, how much better is it right now than it was say last August when he was trying to learn this system? Last August, it's not even close. Um, I think what you're seeing too, is the way he's playing it and throwing the ball after he's making the decisions. He was always good at finding the read keys, doing all that type of stuff, because he's an intelligent kid and he works hard at it. But now you're seeing on top of it, like the body language confidence and the way he's driving it and snapping it. And from the first time I ever talked to you guys, ripping it all over the field. So now he's not just trying not to make a mistake or trying to find the right key. He knows what he's going to do. And that's why you're seeing the ball just ripping all over the field from him, because now the two of those things are playing together. And if you found that he is more accurate in almost all of his throws, perhaps as opposed to last August? Absolutely, 100%. From the deep ball to the intermediate to his quick game, he's completely changed who he is as a player. Coach, LSU has a lot of new faces, transfers in the secondary, and new coaches staff. Just what have you seen from them? How are they gelling through five games? Yeah, I mean, LSU is still LSU. They got good players. They got long guys that can run and hit and extremely competitive. Um, you see guys that are flying around and, and hitting people and, and playing extremely hard. That's how they play. That's who they are. And expect nothing else on Saturday. They're going to come and, and try to hit us right in the mouth, and we're going to have to answer that. It's going to be a great environment to do it, too. Thanks, Coach. Yes, sir. Thanks, guys.